Hello, I'm Jack, and this is your guide to installing Marlin 2.0 on your 3D printer. First thing you're going to want to do is install Visual Studio Code. You can just look that up, and it should be the first link. Yeah, there we go. The blue one. You don't want to install the community one. It's kind of bad. You want to download for whatever you're using. I'm using Windows. We're going to save it. We'll go as an EXE, and you just click that button. And then you never read the agreements because you're an actual god. Boom, blah, blah, blah. It's going to install. It's going to take a second. Doo -doo. Great. And then you're going to press launch Visual Studio Code. Mine is already installed, so it'll launch pretty fast, but yours may take another second. Next, you're going to need to install the actual Marlin raw files. The first thing you're going to do is type in Marlin FW for firmware.org and you're going to open up to their page. You're going to press download Marlin 2.0.9 or whatever the newest one and you want to press download the latest release. Never do the bug fixes ones because it's going to have a bunch of bugs in it. It's known as a nightly build for a reason. All right, go there. It will take you to this and you just press download. And you're also going to need to download your, the configurations to make it pretty easy. So you're going to go here and you're just going to have everything and you're going to press da code, download a zip. I'm going to save that again. Oh, that takes a bit extra. In the meantime, you can open the, your first Marlin folder. You're going to need to extract it. I'm using just WinRAR because that's what I have. I'm going to extract it to whatever you want. Just for this, I'm going to download it to my desktop. It's easy to access. It's going to take a second to extract. When you're good at that, next, you need to know what printer you're doing it for. So, you need to go, let's say I'm going to do it for an Ender 5 Pro. So, I'm going to go to uh, the configuration, examples, creality, and then Ender 5 Pro. From here, you're going to pick what board you are. I'm using a standard Creality 4.2.2 board. Once you have that open, go to your files and open up that Marlin folder that you just extracted. From here, open it up and you can see another one called Marlin. And then you can see these configurations. Next, you're going to want to drag these over into here and replace the files in this destination. And there is your basic Marlin configuration. From there, you can go to VS Codeio, and you're going to want to go into this little extensions hub. And the first things you're going to want to install is Platform IO. I already have it installed, but it's going to be right here. I can just reload it. And you're going to want to press install there. The next thing you're going to want to install is Auto Build Marlin. This will save your day so much. Instead of editing up a bunch more infos, this does it all for you. Super easy. Once you have those to install, you're going to need to reload your VS Code. After that, you're going to press File, Open Folder, wherever you save that Marlin folder to, and just click it once. Don't click anything else, and they're going to want to select Folder. From there, give it a second to load. It's going to Platform IO, checking the core installation. This is checking out what uh, chip you're using in your board from what it's already set to. You can just continue on while that goes. But the first thing that's going to happen is the platform I.O. is going to open up. Don't You don't have to change any of this. You can just let it go. The first thing you want to do is configuration. Right now, I am running a BL Touch. So, I want to enable that BL Touch. I am going to search up Control F or Command F if you're on Mac. Type in BL Touch. And then you're going to want to define it. So, you're going to remove these two uh, comments or whatever. And then it will light up like this purple pink from there you have it enabled the next thing you're gonna want to do is you need to enable what type of uh, port your BL touch is in you're gonna want to control F that again I'm going to type in uh, Z underscore min underscore probe or uses Z min and sub pin Right now, on the Creality board, I'm using just the standard 5-pin port, the dedicated BL one, so I want to disable this. That means that you are plugging it directly into the Z min port, where your Z end stop would be, and I'm not doing that. The next thing you're going to do, which is conveniently right under it, is use Pro for Z homing. 
that means that you can completely take off your end stop and it will use your probe for homing the Z axis. After you have that enabled, you want to go back to your search and you need to enable what type of bed leveling you want. So I'm going to just look up mesh bed leveling, which will take you into all of these. Personally, I like bilinear, so I'm going to enable that one. Same thing, you're just going to delete those and it'll be enabled. A lot of people like the unified bed level, which is probes each corner and it does one mass probing of four and does each pro uh, four corners before print. Some people like the three point, which is more of a delta thing since it has a it does has three axis. But that's, you don't have to worry about that. I would just recommend bilinear. The next thing you're going to want to do is that since you are using probe for Z homing, you're going to want to use Z safe homing. What Z safe homing does is that when you boot up your printer, it, when you press home, it is going to lift the, your nozzle up a little bit and so it doesn't scratch the bed. This is very important because if you have a fancy bed like me, you can ruin it and there goes 90 bucks. So what you're going to do is search for Z underscore safe underscore homing and just enable that. That is your basic configuration for just BL Touch. If you want to go extra steps, which I always recommend, I do this on every printer. You go into this configuration underscore ADV, which is for advanced. That's what the big boys do. And they're going to look. You're going to scroll down. And you're going to want to enable. Where is it now? So you know what? We can just search for it. You remember? There's always the best speech. is search up pause. Oh, no. What is it? Advance. Pause. I always forget what it's under. But oh, we can type in advance. This is a good tip. And then cross these arrows and it'll go to the next advance you have. For this, I'm trying to look up the advance pause feature. I'm going to go to pause, press the arrows, and we've got advance pause. I always like to enable this because when you pause your print, um, it will do some extra features like uh, lifting the head up instead of just pausing it directly in place. You don't have to play with these settings right now. These are for more about uh, filament runout sensors which we will do in a later video if I manage to get that done. And the next thing I recommend for BL Touch is for the probe offset wizard. So we're going to type in probe underscore offset wizard and it's right here. It's going to be blacked out because it's not recognizing your BL Touch yet, but you're still going to want to undefine this. This makes it so when you're leveling your BL Touch, it is going to be super easy. There's going to be a little setting and it advanced settings where you just type Z offset and you just scroll it down to where your probe or your nozzle is right above the bed. Oh, we forgot one more important thing. We have to go back to the BL Touch just to search for it. You gotta scroll down and here is your nozzle to probe offset. This is very important. This is telling you how far away your probe is from your actual nozzle for in this case i'm using a standard creality um holder which is negative 44 on the x which means it's gonna be over here on this handy dandy graft and then negative 16 on the y which means it's gonna be back more so it's about right here that's where it is compared to the nozzle right here and that's the oh, that's a very important thing if you want to do some other stuff let's say you have a bigger bed or anything else you want to scroll down you can actually do uh, damn where is this ah well scratch that I can't find it right now my brain's going dead but next thing you want to do is once you have those two things remember you have to have platform IO installed before and auto build Marlin the next thing you're gonna want to do is click on that auto build Marlin show auto build Marlin panel click that and then press build once that, it's going to actually compile your firmware and you're going to see all the errors you have. And it's going to unpack all of this because it's installing for the first time. And it's going to compile. I have a pretty fast computer, so it takes me pretty fast, but for some people it can take up to two minutes. Oh, and we have errors. It turns out, ah, another important thing. Advanced pause feature requires the nozzle park feature. It needs to know where to park the nozzle. From there, we go back into the configuration and look up nozzle underscore park feature. We need to enable that because that is very important. 
that's defined and that's gonna be our other issue. Our other issue is that we're, we are using ah, a BOTOT set five uh, volt mode. So I'm not actually using a five volt BL touch. So I need to go back here and you go BL touch underscore set. And we need to undefine that. So put your comments. That is for the uh, older BL touches, but the new ones like the 3.1 don't need it. So you can go back here. Once you've done that, press clean. You want to clean all those extra files. I like to press this little trash icon once I'm done with that. So I get a fresh pile. See all my other errors. Press build again. So that it'll go through the same process of building. And the yellow, it's not really an issue. This just happens. And boom. It's gonna take a second at the end. But we're gonna get a success. That means your Marlin files have completely been compiled. And they're going to work, hopefully. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to open up to that initial Marlin folder again. So it's going to be right here where you've saved it. And you're going to want to go into this PIO folder. PIO is that platform IO. You want to go into your builds, whatever chip you are using. So in this case, we're using the STM chip from Creality. Click there. And you're going to have your firmware.bin. This is all the marbles. From here, you're going to take this file. You're going to copy it into a SD card if you have it installed. I don't right now because I don't need a flash printer. From there, you're going to put it in the SD card. Make sure no other files are on it. And you're going to smash it into your little Creality motherboard. And you're going to turn off the printer and turn it back on. From there, the screen will go blue. And you will have a successful flash. If it doesn't work, um, leave a comment or you can join the Discord for Marlin firmware and their support is amazing if you have any issues. But yeah, that is it. That's my jank video of installing Marlin. Thank you.